The throwing of a baseball is one of the most unnatural movements for the human body to make. Ball players, young and old, have battled through elbow, arm, and shoulder issues for years as they try to get everything they can out of their bodies. One place all too familiar with the delicate nature of the throwing motion is the American Sports Medicine Institute in Birmingham, Alabama. The ASMI lab has been studying and treating injuries caused by athletics for years and has been instrumental in the care and development of many major league pitchers. One of the main aspects of American Sports Medicine Institute is our biomechanics lab. Biomechanics is the study of human motion using the equations of physics. But basically what we're doing is we're studying the right way to do things and the wrong way to do things using the laws of physics. What we're trying to do in baseball pitching is help each pitcher be the best he can be, be most efficient as possible, get the most performance for the least stress and the least chance of injury. We've for years been treating baseball injuries, but our real emphasis right now is in prevention of injuries and we need public awareness to realize that, that little small things can be done if youth coaches and parents just understand a few basic principles and the risk factors involved in youth baseball we can prevent injuries and we can provide major league baseball with a supply of major league pitchers of the quality that they need to fulfill the spots at all of our clubs Pitching coach Rick Peterson discovered the ASMI lab while coaching in Birmingham for the White Sox organization in 1989 and has worked with the facility to help develop a curriculum for getting the most out of its pitching staffs while keeping them healthy. And we came in here to start to study pitching deliveries and we had a great fortune where, where it was like a, it was basically like going to uh, postgraduate school for studying pitching. And we went all the way back to the Bob Gibson days and took a look at that error all the way up to present day. And the question that Dr. Fleisick and Dr. Andrews asked was, is there something that all these great pitchers do mechanically that we can build a system around so that we can train pitchers once again to reduce the risk of injury and to enhance performance? And it so happened that there was. Pitchers are brought to the facility and will generally throw a bullpen session while their motions will be recorded on high speed film as well as by sensors which will chart every tweak, turn and fraction of a movement that their bodies make. The main system we use is our motion analysis system. What the technology is is we put reflective markers all up and down their, their body on different joints. Then we have six high speed cameras that are recording the motion of these reflective markers only. These six cameras are all electronically synchronized and they each take 240 pictures per second. That's eight times faster than normal video. These pictures are then sent to the computer and then digitized, which means we, we calculate the three-dimensional motion of the picture. All this fancy stuff means is we can get the exact three-dimensional motion of the picture and compare them against themselves, compare them against how they looked next year, last year, and compare them against other healthy, successful pitchers. A's pitchers Tim Hudson and Barry Zito have visited the lab for the last two years, each hoping to make slight adjustments to keep their throwing motions effective and healthy. I think it definitely helped me as far as is learning my delivery and, and, and learning what I do really well and, and, and learning what I don't do so well. And um, you know, if there's things I don't do so well, I, mean, I can go back and, and try to do some drills. It's not going to make you go from, you know, having 20 wins to having two wins or any extreme like that. I think it's just little things that over the course of many years is gonna save your arm and your delivery. Traditionalists may mock the practice of computers and technology in a game that has flourished for a century without it. But Peterson and company are looking to continue to hold their edge and don't intend to rest on their laurels. And, and we're not a big believer in that uh, statement that a lot of people say that if, it, if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it, you know, because again, I'll go back to that analogy that uh, very few people who have, you know, high performance cars, you know, uh, most of them probably change their oil every 3,000 miles, they rotate the tires, and they're not going to wait and sit till they're on the side of the road and find out that they got two flat tires and there's no tread and say, I can't believe this has happened. You know, so we're, we're more proactive. It's a continuous education type of program. The philosophy behind it is just using technology. You know, so many people in the game don't want technology. They, they're, I don't know if they're scared of it. They, they're like, this has worked before, this is going to work again. But, you know, I think if you're not changing with the times and you're not kind of reacclimating yourself to what's going on around you, it's pointless. You know, no one's ever going to get better than anything. You know, so if you can take somebody at the, who's at the top of their game and performing exceptionally well and has been healthy, 
and, and make sure that you can find out exactly what he's doing when he's performing at his best, not what, not wait till the car's wrecked and have to come back and, and, and overhaul it. When I watch a, a baseball game, um, I, I love it as a fan, still since I was a, a kid, but I also look at it as a scientist, and I love seeing some of the players that we've helped, some of the coaches we've helped, seeing how they, them succeed, and, and I just love watching them do well.